Stop it. Get some help. So we got David Benavidez, man. He was on the Pound for Pound podcast with UFC fighters Kamara Usman and Henry. Can't pronounce his last name, but it is what it is. Now, he was on this podcast with these guys, and he was given his Pound for Pound list in boxing. And I got a problem with it because, you know, the people he used, he used the right boxers. He used the correct boxers. But the order he put him in. He wasn't going to do an order at first, but he still went ahead and did it. So check out this order right here. Pound for pound, Terrence so you Crawford. Got, yeah, you, okay, so you got Terrence Crawford on there. Usyk. In a way. Canelo. And then and you've got, in a way, that the Japanese give. So the fifth one is probably Javante. I think so. Put them one through five. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you just put okay, them. okay, my opinion. Number one is Inouye. Number two is Usyk. Three is Javante Davis. Four is Canelo. Five. Crawford. Crawford. No, 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 no. Crawford is four. <laughs> Canelo is five. Okay. A lot of people would say that it's weird that he even got Javante Davis in a top five when it comes to pound for pound. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a real big fan of Tank, but I just don't think that he's top five pound for pound. I don't mind him being on the pound for pound list, but he shouldn't even be number five. Not only is he got him in the top five pound for pound, he got him as number three before Tamers Crawford and before Canelo. Canelo shouldn't be last. It should be Tank. If you're going to have Tank in the top five pound for pound list, Tank should be the one that's last, to be honest with you. And let's be real. We all know why he made Canelo last. You know, he's pretty upset with the fact that Canelo don't want to fight him. And Canelo has good reason because Canelo feel like he's going to lose. Canelo doesn't want to admit it, but that's what it really is. You see, Canelo doesn't want this to be a passing of a torch, but it will be. And that's exactly what David Benavidez also said on this interview. Check this out. Canelo, he doesn't want to fight you. Yeah, bro, it's, it's a little hard because obviously this is a fight that everybody wants to see. It's the biggest fight in boxing, in my opinion, right now. It sucks when a guy, as Canelo says, that he's the king, he can do whatever he wants. He's basically holding the belts hostage. King or prima donna? Yeah, basically. I did everything in my power to make this fight happen. You know, I won interim title, I won title eliminators, and I beat the guys who they told me that I couldn't beat. I feel like I'm in line for this fight, but the only reason that he doesn't want to fight me because he knows that it's going to be a passing of the torch. It's not going to be him with the victory in his hand raised. It's going to be him passing on the torches to me now when it comes to that right there when he said i actually agree with him i agree with him when he said that it's going to be a passing of the torch but canelo most likely doesn't want this to be a passing of the torch because he want to wait until the end of his career and right now he's not at the end of his career so like i said he's going to fight david benavidez probably on down the line when he feel like he's done with his career when he feels like, oh, okay, I'll go ahead and fight him now. It's a good chance he's going to beat me. But at least I have an excuse. This will be the passing of the torch. But my fans are going to say I was already too old anyway. I think that's what he's trying to do. Like I said, I don't think he's afraid of him. I think that he just knows that it will be a passing of the torch. And he just doesn't want to pass the torch yet. That's all it is. Furthermore, he's making his fans think that he just wants $200 million. No, he's, there's a lot of things he's worried about. And it's not that $200 million. Just like he said, the only thing that David Benavidez has got to bring on fight night is 25 pounds more. He wouldn't benefit from fighting David Benavidez when realistically, he didn't benefit from fighting Jaime Mangia. And for anybody who want to say, well, it's because David Benavidez is too big for him and he don't want to deal with those 25 pounds extra. Okay, well, put him on a rehydration clause. I mean, that's what you did to everybody else, right? Everybody else he felt like was bigger than him. He gave him a rehydration clause. So ain't no point of you not using one now. That's just an excuse. But it comes a time where you're going to have to just get realistic and stop trying to be delusional on purpose.